Yeah, because this is the first one I ever went to. Manson, Slayer, Kill Switch, Bullet, Cannibal Corpse, Drop for a Cowboy, Behemoth, Whitechapel, Black Dahlia, Murder, Trivium, All the Remains, God Forbid, and fucking Metal Militia was there. And I had, like, the Jägermeister Battle of the Bands and, like, the Jägermeister Girls and, or whatever. And then the next year was Corn, Rob Zombie, Lamb of God, Five Finger, Atreyu, Three Inches of Blood, Hatebreed, Chimera, Shadows Fall, Winds of Plague, etc. And during the In This Moment pit, like, she did an all-girl circle pit, and we all got to, like, high-five her and shit. Like, that was a highlight of my life. I'm gonna skip one, because I can't find the other one right now. But these are all the bands for 2012. Like, fucking Slayer, Slipknot, Devil Wars, Prada, Asking Alexandria, As Are They Dying, Whitechapel, fucking Upon a Burning Body. Training the Martyrs, I the Breather. And then I was also at this one. This is the 2011. Disturbed, Megadeth, Machine Head. Fucking when they came out and played, like, The Locust and, like, told the, like, the story behind that, it was freaking amazing. I want to say In Flames wasn't actually there for some reason. Um, I don't remember seeing them, but, like, Unearth, Kingdom of Sorrow, which is, like, what, whatchamacallit, Jamie Josta's, like, other side band, I believe. Suicide Silence, All Shall Perish, and Straight Line Stitch. I got to, like, kind of meet the girl from Straight Line Stitch. My ex took a picture with her. Got to see All Shall Perish, which I have them tattooed on my fucking arm. Um, and Suicide Silence with Mitch. And he, that, that was probably the best performance, the best wall of death, the best circle pit was that. Was this revolver stage that year. This one I did not go to. And I'm really disappointed in myself for not going. I actually sent my ex's sister because I was, like, up my ex's ass, like, literally and figuratively. And she's like, I don't want to go. And she's like, I'll cheat on you if you go. And that should have been a sign to just fucking go anyway. But look at that. Children of Bodom, Motionless and White when they were actually fucking good. Butcher Babies, which I saw, and they're actually, like, pretty good. Born of Osiris, Job for a Cowboy, Rob Zombie, Behemoth. I know I've seen Behemoth and Marduk a few times. Or whatever, at Mayhem. But, uh, yeah, crazy fucking lineup. I did not go to this one just because, like... I wasn't super into the bands, and I also, like, just wasn't in my right mind uh, on this year, or in that year, but, um, still significantly better than the current new lineup. This one I heard about, I never went, I think this was, like, the last one, and there's only what, one, two, three, four, five bands, like, that seems like a cop-out, unless I'm tripping and there's more somewhere. Um... So I'm sure no one cares for my opinion, but that's why I was like, this show seems kind of lame. I'm also irritated that it's like seven hours away from me. But like, Ginger would be awesome. I guess this seven hours after Violet is like the dude from System of a Down's new band. Unearth would be cool to see. I hella want to see it dies today. Throwdown, Born of Osiris, uh, Suicide Silence, After the Burial. I just literally just saw most of those bands recently. August Burns Red, Architects would be cool. Kitty would be sick as fuck to see darkest hour i would be excited as fuck to see but like having bad omens headline like they're they were decent but they, i don't know maybe it's tiktok that just like made me fucking hate them and same with sleep token like i never gave them a chance because they kind of did the same thing with like bands like ghost and shit like that um but just like why the fuck are you headlining when there's suicide silence and all these other bands and why isn't all shall perish on here like i feel like all shall perish deserves to be on here um Okay, so my first Mayhem Fest, I did have to, like, timestamp it for myself to, like, remember it. Um, but, like, I ran up to, like, the Westboro Baptist Church people and started cursing them out, and then I accidentally hit my grandma in the face. It's like, it just, it just used to be so fucking cool. And then, like, the next year's following, we would throw stuff out their van or, like, try to scare them, and it was just a vibe. But let's see, my, my part here's coming up. So good dip, I'm not bro. About Here church. I come. About My dumbass right there. Oh, Hit my grandma in the face. That was awesome. I found that video by accident. Um, it was like my dad, my stepmom, my stepbrother at the time, and my grandma. And me, obviously. And you see this right here? This was us going in, or that they were waiting for something, and we were going in that way to go up to there. And, like, behind this was a giant dirt fucking, like, clawed pile. Damn thing cut me off. But anyway, so there was, like, a dirt clawed, like, pile, you know, just, like, chunks of dirt or whatever. And the security lady was hella cool. She was, like, an older, bigger lady. Didn't give a shit. And was like, you know, you could throw those over the fence. It'll probably hit them, and they end up going away. 
Um, but that's just speculation, because back in the day, there was really no cameras or no one really recording stuff. It was all about actually just doing stuff and, like, having fun and telling protesters to suck my fucking dick and all that fun stuff. Like, I remember being drunk as hell at an Aussie concert and me and my dad were, like, yelling at all of them and we knew more scriptures than they did and it was just kind of a vibe, so. Anyways, I was just expecting, like, that energy, so when they put out that list, I was a little disappointed. No one probably cares, but I felt like making a video.